Hey guys, it is currently 3.20 in the morning on April 18th, and we're going to go ahead and talk about the 17th. Um, I didn't accomplish nearly as much as I wanted to on the 17th. Um, things were very, very slow getting off the ground. Um, it took quite a while to make progress in anything, so even when I started working on books for a shorter amount of times, I was like, oh, that's okay, I'll handle my non-writing stuff here in the morning, and then after I take a, after I go to sleep, and after I wake up, I'll be more able to write again. No. My sister came over for food, uh, to eat, supper, and then my grandma came over while my sister was here for like an hour, hour and a half or so. Um, and I had planned on writing while we were eating because I take forever to eat because of my jaw pain, my TMJ. Um, so I always do something while I'm eating. Um, but then my grandma was here while we were eating, so <laughs> I was talking to her instead. Um, so I, my plans kind of went out the window there. I didn't get back around to Letters from Madman. Again, I'm officially, uh, 18 days behind on edit three, which is great. <laughs> I'm not stressed about it at all. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go from there and talk about the few things that I did accomplish. Um, I worked on one, two, three, can I count? <laughs> I worked on one, two, three, four, um, five, six books, which technically sounds like a lot. I mean, it is half of my projects, not counting Letters from Madman, but I didn't hit the goals in the majority of them. I hit the goal in one of them, um, just for reference. And that's okay, I don't need to hit the daily goal in them every day or anything like that. I'm fine with that, it doesn't matter. Um, because they're not hard set goals, I'm not aiming to have them all written by a certain period of time. The goals that I set are just so that way I have a basis of how much progress I'm making in each book each month, or each week, depending. Um, but again, pretty slow getting off the ground. So, 512 in The Gang War, 234 in Thundering Hooves, 600, or 760 in TE, 468 in TFL, uh, 466 in PRV, and then uh, 170 in The Poisoning of John Doe. For, so, for April 17th, I wrote 2,610 words, and for the month so far in total, I have 47,884 words. Now... Obviously, it's not a bad count. It's not a bad count for the day, either. Um, it is, however, not at all what I was hoping to accomplish. I would be totally happy with that word count, that 2,000 count, if I had gotten through all of my books and made it back around to Letters from Madman. Because my main thing is Letters from Madman. I, I need to work on that a lot. Um, this, up here, um... I'm on chapter 15, that's this one here, out of 35 chapters. At least three or four of those, I believe, still need to be written as well. Not just edited, they need to be written entirely. Um, because I skipped them during the rewrite phase, because past me is an asshole, and I was tired of working on the rewrite edit from hell. Because if you haven't seen <laughs> the notes from the rewrite edit, I will show them to you. Normally I have one sticky note per edit. Um, for the Letters from Madman rewrite edit, I have three. If this sticky note here will unstick from itself. There you go. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of them are brand new chapters. New intro, chapter one into two chapters, changed main plot points, uh, brand new chapter five, moved chapters around, chapter nine turned to chapter 13, stuff like that, um, completely replaced opening scenes, completely moved scenes from one chapter to another, rewrote chapters in a different POV because the chapters changed around, so now they were in one of the other detectives point, uh, point of view. Um, Brand new ending to chapter 33, brand new chapter 34, brand new chapter 35, brand new chapter 32. Um, this whole section here is brand new chapters. So eventually I started skipping the brand new chapters because I was done. <laughs> I think the rewrite edit in actuality took me like 14 to 16 days, I don't remember for sure. 
but I wasn't working on it every single day, so it seemed like it took me forever. Um, and I was just super behind where I had wanted to be, so I was just done. But it has caused a problem for me now, because I'm 18 days behind on edit 3, and there are at least 6 to 7, if not more, edits that I still need to do after this one. I think it's 6, I think. Um, and the book is, I'm, I'm publishing the book in August, that's the plan. Um, assuming that, like, everything returns to something resembling, resembling? normalcy by then um, because you have to, I have to get proofs from Amazon for the paperbacks and stuff like that and obviously if things remain as they are right now that can't happen uh, because they're not shipping stuff out right now um, for obvious reasons but I, I the, the goal is still to release it on August 4th and if I don't get my edits done I can't and that's my main issue with the amount of progress that I made on the 17th. Um, it, I'm, again, I'm not disappointed in the word count, the 2000 whatever, that's great, that's better than I was doing last month, like, pretty much every day. Um, my only issue is that I completely dicked myself over without even knowing it. Um, because if I had gotten through more books in the morning, I would have still had time for letters from Mad Man after my sister left. But I didn't know she was coming over until about five minutes before I went to bed. As in, that was when I learned that she was planning on coming over that night. Uh, which kind of, you know, interrupted things. Um, and she tends to come over about 30 minutes before my wake-up time alarm goes off. Um, so then I also lose half an hour <laughs> of sleep. <laughs> because she's very loud. I love her, but she's very loud. Um, so I hear every single word she and my mom have in conversation the moment she walks in the door. <laughs> so, um, not only did I not accomplish anything, I'm also exhausted. I took a two-hour nap this morning, straight off, but that was because I was tired, so I was hoping to get rid of the headache and dizziness that I have. I did not still have that. Um, but my brain feels a little more focused which is something. I feel a little more knowledgeable, I suppose, um, because there are days where I feel like I have no memory of, like, anything. Like, everything just goes in one ear and out the other. Um, I feel, like, completely foggy, so on and so forth, but today, despite the dizziness and the headache, um, the two-hour nap <laughs> did help me feel less, less foggy, less unfocused. Um, I still don't feel like I'm going to accomplish a ton, but I feel better, which is something. So here on the 18th, again, the game plan is to get through all of my books, including Letters from a Madman, especially Letters from a Madman. I would like to get through all 12 of my work in progresses this morning before I go to sleep. Um, and I'm going to start with the gang war, because otherwise before I will allow myself to work on Letters from a Madman, my brain will want me to work on The Gang War, Thundering Hooves, TE, TFL, PRV, and The Poisoning of John Doe. Again. Um, and then, since I would be out of order, I would need to work on the books that come after that, like um, Graham and Z and Pittman's Legend of Valley Fighter, King of Darkness, whatever the hell the other books are. <laughs> There should be two more, I think, but I don't know what the hell they are. Um, but Books and Badges is one of them. Hmm. That's all I know. Um, but I I do like to only work on Letters from Mammon after I make it through all of my books. And if I don't start it right at the end of the cycle, Untitled Zombie, that's the other one. If I don't start it right at the end of the cycle and instead I start it somewhere in between, my brain is never fully focused on editing or taking notes on Letters from Madman. It is 100% focusing on the book that I should be working on in its place. So working on Letters from Madman once I get to the end and have worked on all of the ones before it is a much better option. So I'm going to start with the gang war again uh, today and I'm going to spend probably five to ten minutes on each one, 
I'm not going to allow myself to spend more time on that because the faster I get through all of the books, the faster I can work on Letters from Madman, the more progress, hopefully, I can make in Letters from Madman, which is what needs to happen. Um, because each of those chapters is at least a thousand words long. I try to keep my chapters short. Um, I hate calling 1.5 to 2,000 words short, but uh, because for me, those are what I prefer reading as well, uh, because it helps my brain stay focused on the book I'm reading. But a lot of people do consider that short because they're writing like five to 10,000 word chapters, but it is a personal preference. So whatever you're writing is fine for you and probably for your readers and your genre. Um, and there's no set chapter count that you have to have or set word count per chapter. I just prefer 1.5 to 2,000 ish as a general consensus of chapters. Sometimes I go a little bit longer than that and that's fine. Um, several of the chapters I've edited in Letters from Madman have been closer to 3,000 uh, and that's also fine. It's just, you know, whatever. But because they're all pretty much guaranteed to be at least a thousand words and I have to take notes on them while I'm reading through them, it takes a while. So I'm going to start here by editing, or not editing, by writing in the gang war. Starting a timer for five minutes, writing in the gang war, going from there. I don't care what my word counts are <laughs> at all. Um, I don't care if I only write 50 words in that five minutes. I don't care if I write 300 words in that five minutes. As long as it is something that is good enough for me. So I'm going to do my best to get through all 12 books. I'm going to do my best to work on Letters from Madman and hopefully also do a little bit of video editing on some Camp Nano vids today because uh, I need to do that. And I was having internet issues yesterday. It took me like 21 hours <laughs> almost. It was insane however long it took um, to upload the Days Gone video. I got it uploaded right before midnight. Um, so internet is fun, but hopefully I'll get some videos edited today in between all of that and get some stuff uploaded and go from there. But I am going to start with the gang war and do a bit of writing before I allow myself to take a break with video editing. Um, and go from there. But that's all that I have for the 17th. I hope your first 17 days of April Camp Nano have gone well. I hope they continue to go well. And if they haven't been great so far, I hope they get there. But that is all that I personally have. If you enjoy this video, I like it. It's always appreciated. And if you'd like to stay updated on my writing, my editing, the gaming videos I upload roughly every Friday, currently Camp Nano, or anything that I do on this channel in between, feel free to subscribe. All the links to my author's pages as well as links to my social media are in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.